hi guys hi everyone welcome back to my channel and let me tell you about this look what I've created this is the classic black smoky eyes as you can see in the easiest way to be done so it was one of the most requested video on my Instagram recently I did ask my families my supporters and my followers which look would they like to see the most so this was on the hit list so yes do watch this video till the end to know how I achieve this look in the easiest way possible also if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below yes it's absolutely for free and also hit the notification bell beside of the subscribe button to get notified whenever i upload a new video also this video is not at all sponsored all the products that i have used i will be mentioning down below the description box so without much talking let's get started i am using plum glow restore face oil and apply it generously all over my face I have a combination skin so I am using a face oil but if you deal it with the oily skin so you can totally skip this step and then I allow it to dry for few seconds before applying moisturizer. To moisturize my face I am using Hydro Faces moisturizer and until it get absorbed on my skin I will be working on my eye makeup. So starting with my eyebrows, I comb them with my spoolie and then using Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade in Warm Brown, I darken slash fill the sparse areas of my eyebrows. So today for base makeup, I'll be using Krylon Supra Color Palette in Delhi 2. So picking up this shade in FS29, which will act as a base for my eyelids, I apply it before applying any color on my lids. To avoid creasing, I am using Krylon Translucent Powder in TL4 and pack it on the area where I just have concealed my eyelids. Now let me tell you, for smoky eye look, you all will be needing is only three things. And you will be needing is an eyeshadow palette containing three basic colors that is light brown, dark brown and black, then one black comb and two brushes one is the fluffy one and the other one is taper so taking this colossal kajal in black which is also a cold pencil I create a thick line on my upper lash line steps helps in creating a dark black base which is very important for a smoky eye look and then Taking this black shade from my Morphe 35F palette, I use my tapered brush and then I blend it on the areas where I have just applied the coal since applying a black eyeshadow helps the black color of the coal to stay intact and also again avoids creasing. Now taking this brown shade, I apply it on my crease area just above where the black eyeshadow ends. And then I blend them until no harsh line like this is seen. Moving to the lower lash line, I pick up the same brown shade and then I apply it on my lower lash line. And then now to intensify my lower lash line, I use the same tapered brush 
and I pick the same black eyeshadow and then apply it on the top of the brown shade that I have just applied. Moving ahead, I put up on these false lashes from Usher in Style Beat. And guys, I already have a video on how to apply lashes. If you struggle in it, then check out the video which I will be linking on the screen at the end of this video. As you can see, the area around my lips and chin are quite dark as compared to my face. I'll be using this orange shade 303 from the same Krylon palette to correct it and then quickly blend them into the affected areas. Then moving on the base, I pick the shade Ivory and then I apply it on my face and blend them until it looks seamless. To again avoid creasing, I pack my face with little amount of the same Krylon translucent powder. Moving to the contour, I am using the shade NG2 from the Krylon palette again and I apply it on the hollows of my cheek. And so again I blend them. Blending is guys the main rule that comes in makeup. So yes, I blend them. For my blush, I'll be using Nykaa's Brazilian Bombshell palette and I'll be using this light pink shade. Since my eye makeup is a little bit dramatic, I really like keeping a face a little lighter. So I just apply a little amount of the blush. For the highlighter, I'll be using Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter in Moonlight Glow and then I just highlight my cheekbones. Moving to the lips, which is of course the last step, I'll be using these two shades. One is from NYX in Berlin and other is Kylie in Dolce K. Combining these two lipsticks gives me a brownish nude lip color. You can always use any nude lipstick of your own choice and yes, you can go ahead. So guys, yes, here it's done. 